Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we're taking a look at this brand new 2025 Striker 3212 Toy Hauler Travel Trailer. This thing is packed full of great features. It even has a side patio porch here along with the back ramp patio porch as well. So this is a little unique compared to most toy haulers. We're gonna take a few minutes here, walk you through the inside, the outside. We're even gonna close it up at the end and show you what it looks like closed as well. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2025 Striker 3212 Toy Hauler Travel Trailer by Cruiser RV here. As you've seen on the floor plan that was up a few seconds ago, the garage area in the back, side porch area, and also front bedroom area. So let's get started actually up in the front and then we'll work our way to the back for you. Kind of check this thing out. So up here, the master bedroom area. So kind of starting up here at the top, you can see there is a vent and vent fan up there. There's LED light bars up here that are dimmable. You have hanging closet on each side of the bed area here, a drawer on each side and some overhead cabinet space. There's even an overhead little shelf space up there as well. They cut little holes in the side of the uh, dress or a closet area there so you could maybe set a CPAP machine in there or something like that plug it in some of these electric outlets are also inverter prepped so if you wanted to put an inverter on the RV and a solar system you can do so generator prep up there as well this particular one was ordered with the generator uh, you'll see that kind of when we get outside but there is a generator start stop button up there for that window on each side of the bed does open Camper King bed again, and there is some storage underneath of there, so you could kind of shove things under that bed area. There's also TV hookups up there as well, if you want to mount a TV in here. Sliding door for privacy. And you have this super sofa right here. There is a portable table that you can get that comes with it. It's actually back there in the garage area uh, and set up here. So if you wanted to sit here and eat instead of eating back there in the garage, uh, you could do so. There's light up cup holders on each outer arm. And then you have the three middle sections that will actually fold down. So you can kind of arrange it however you want and give you some USB charger ports and cup holders and stuff in there as well. All of those seats do recline. Over here is going to be your bathroom area. So you have a foot flush toilet, step in shower. There is going to be your sink area with some storage below. You're going to have your medicine cabinet area here and some upper cabinet space up there as well. Lots of height to this RV for a travel trailer. So you might want to get a step stool to get in and out of certain parts of these cabinetries. Uh, but you're going to have skylight up above. You will also have vent fan up there again. ABS tub surround. Decent sized bathroom for a toy hauler trailer. And it does have an actual lock on the bathroom door, which is kind of nice. Looking back out here at the living room kitchen area, you can see TV up high. Shameless plug right there. We got the All About RVs YouTube channel up. Currently at 60,100 some odd subscribers and growing daily. If you're interested in keeping up with more videos, please remember to subscribe and smash that like button as well if you don't mind. Uh, you're going to have some storage on the side cabinet up here as well. You will also have some storage up above your microwave area right there. And then up above that sliding glass entry door there, you're also going to have more storage there, which can be accessed from either side, whether you're in the garage or here. You can see up top there, ducted AC system. You also have another roof vent fan up there as well. The window over here will also open. You got the large microwave. 
stereo system right there that controls indoor and outdoor speakers. You're going to have your suburban gas stove and oven right here. There's some storage underneath of there and beside there. Electric outlet also down there as well. And then you have three full extending barber and drawer guided drawers here. There's also the propane leak detector and another electric outlet down here on the side. You have the undermount sink with the high rise sprayer faucet as well. There's even an electric outlet on the bottom of that cabinet there. Now over here, you are gonna have what I would call probably a pantry area. Uh, so you can stash a lot of your food and goodies over here in this section. And then you also have the controls over here as well. So you got your slide button, awning button, a bunch of light switches, uh, water pump button, holding tank uh, readers for your monitor panel here. Um, there is the vent fan controls up and down and on off propane furnace and your main AC control, on-demand water heater control, the dimmable light slider here with the on-off button, electric box with the breakers and fuses. Now looking down below, there is some more storage right there, quite a bit of storage actually in that section. But a very cool toy hauler setup here Windows over there also open. Pleated shades that pull down there. Going on back this way a little further, we are into our garage area. Now, I will put specs and stuff down in the description below, um, like I always do, so you can kind of check this out as well. But you're going to have an entry exit door going out the driver's side of the RV, which is kind of unique. You have that rubber diamond plate floor, lots of D-rings. The floor does slope at the end down there, making it easier transition for your toys to come in and out. In the garage area here, again, you could do a table right here. It's actually underneath the mattress up there, but you could set up the little portable table, sit back here and eat if you want, play cards. You can pen the upper bunk up high, so you got room to walk, or you can drop it down, put it in bed mode. You know, you can put this lower dinette area in bed mode as well. So you could sleep four people back here pretty comfortably. You got windows on each side back here that do open. You also have pleated shades on those. There's electric outlets up high as well. So if somebody's sleeping up here, they can plug something in. Again, you can kind of see that air conditioner right there. Now let's step out here, kind of check this out from the other side. But you got a nice patio rail system here. Um, you can also get aftermarket a set of steps to go off the back does have the little uh, side nets here to help keep somebody from falling through the crack over there on each side. Some RV patios have those, some don't, uh, but this one does. You're prepped for a rear camera up there. You got a couple spotlights up here as well. Again, these three season doors have sliding glass panels and screens. They swing open so you can get your toy in and out of there a little easier. Then over here is going to be the side porch area. Oh, almost forgot. Light switches, uh, bed up and down buttons, second AC control there. But stepping out onto the patio area here, so give you another good place to sit and hang out here if you want to. You're going to have, again, sliding glass door with a screen in it. You have the TV area up here. Now, TV wise, Personally, I would probably take this TV and put it in the garage and get me a little bit bigger TV to go right here. There's room for a larger TV if you wanted to add something right there. Um, there's a door right there that flips up and basically protects the TV when you're actually closing up the ramp and everything. But a nice little area here. And then obviously you got your awning up above. I don't have it all the way out, uh, but you got you know, coverage from the awning on those rainy days and stuff as well. Speakers up high, so you can listen to some music out here too. But tell me guys, what do you think of the new 2025 
Striker 3212 model here. Do you like this? Is this something you could see yourself, you know, running around the countryside in? Now we're going to step outside. I want to show you around the outside of the RV. We'll check out the roof and underneath and stuff like that as well. And then we're going to come back in and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are now back on the outside of the brand new 2025 Striker 3212 Toy Hauler Travel Trailer by Cruiser RV. Starting here on the door side for you. First things up, you have a white fiberglass exterior attached to the upgraded Asdale composite material instead of the cheap wood Luan backers. It is a foam block aluminum studded sidewall. You have a lower black metal skirting and some vinyl graphics. You're gonna have deep tint safety glass windows on the RV as well. Up here in the front area, you have a storage compartment, has a slam lock baggage door on it. You can see some of that aluminum tube framing and some plywood and stuff up there. Over here, you're gonna have prepping for an inverter. You have your battery disconnect, prepping for the tire link monitoring system, and also the solar charge controller. The unit comes prepped with a solar charge controller to the roof. However, the panel itself is technically an option. Sometimes it's on them, sometimes it's not, depending on how the dealer ordered it or the customer ordered it for themselves. So as you're shopping around, make sure you check if you want one or don't want one kind of scenario. Make sure you get what you want. Now looking down here at the bottom, you can see underneath the here, you have power front stabilizer jacks, enclosed underbelly, you can see those hot and cold low point water drains right down there as well. You are going to have your on-demand water heater right here and also the furnace exhaust out right here as well. You have the traditional hover style entry steps there. They're rated for 300 pounds. They flip in and out of the underneath section right there. You can obviously see the little porch light down below underneath those step area. You have the heavy duty more ride grab handle there to help you get in and out of the RV. You do have the window in the entry door as well. There are two speakers up high up there. You're gonna have an LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV up there, adjustable arms on your awning for tilting, manual override and the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. Now, obviously you've seen when we were inside, this nice patio setup here drops down, has cables, has a support foot in the middle as well that you are supposed to use. You also have that TV and stuff, but just to kind of get you an idea what it looks like from down here, Nice little setup. Now down below, you can see this is a dual axle unit. There's aluminum wheels, drum brakes, easy lube hubs, even has a center point suspension upgrade on the axle down there. And it is currently riding on Goodyear Endurance tires. Moving on back a little further, you can see underneath the back section here, you are gonna have, I forgot to mention, red lights underneath. You can see your fuel station right there. You also have your spare tire there and power rear stabilizer jacks as well. Back here in the back, you are gonna have your rear patio system. You've seen this again when we were up, up in there, but a little easier to see what's going on back here from the ground. Again, you could swing that open if you want to, get you a set of steps aftermarket to, you know, kind of walk off the back or whatever. But up top there in the center, you are prepped for the Furion rear observation camera, a nice camera system to consider ordering on the RV. Talk with your salesperson about getting that. It's definitely worth having. Um, coming on around to the other side here, there is prepping for the Lippert portable stow and go ladder over here on the side. That is a telescoping ladder that you can get and get up onto your roof. Speaking of the roof, let's hop up there and check it out. All right, we're up here checking out the roof real quick on the Striker 3212 Toy Hauler Travel Trailer here. I just wanted to get you an idea what it looks like up here real quick. Again, this one was ordered with two AC, so kind of start here in the back. You can see that second AC right there. Right over on the other side is a little black thing on this roof right there. That is actually the prepping for a solar uh, panel to go up here 
This particular one was not ordered with it. However, it does come pre-set up for it. And that is what that is right there. You got your uh, roof vent here, attic vent over there, the main AC up here, your TV antenna. There's a plumbing stack vent there. Skylight, a couple more vents and a plumbing stack vent up there. You can see this has a really nice high arch to the roof as well, trying to get as much water off as fast as possible on a rainy day. But there's a lot of stuff up here. You gotta get up here from time to time, maintain your seams, your seals and all that type of stuff. Doesn't matter if it's a fiberglass roof, TPO roof, you know, rubber roof, PVC, whatever. They're all gonna have holes up here that you have to maintain. All right, let's head back down. All right, back down here on the ground. Again, just make sure you get up there and do some maintenance, very important. Forgot to mention, there are obviously lights on the back up there as well. So you can see loading your toys or sitting out at night on that patio area. Down here, you're gonna have your fuel station, the fuel inlet, a control box for it. You got cable satellite inlets as well. And you also have your detachable 50 amp power cord hookup here. Obviously you can see we have another entry exit door right here, has a little light down there. Also, it is a hover style step as well. Got your vent up there, one of the side vents. You have your slide out over here. Now, one thing you might consider doing on a slide out is a slide out awning cover. Very nice feature, rolls in and out with your slide. Basically helps shed away a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, shades the top of the room. So something to consider when doing your RV. Going up here a little further, you are gonna have the generator area right here. Now, you can get it with a generator or without a generator, depending on your budget. But this is an Onan 5500 watt gasoline generator if you order it this way from the factory. You're gonna have a start stop button inside, start stop button outside, but just to kind of get you an idea what it looks like with the cover off right there. Now, back to the actual rest of here. We are gonna have your outlet for your dumping right down there. So you pull that, gray and black handles. Preferably pull the black first, get the nasty out, pull the gray to try and help rinse everything out. Generator exhaust down there. Right here, you have your black tank flush to clean out the toilet system, city water. You have a cold water spray port right here. You got your gravity fill fresh water tank fill up right here. You have some very important informational stuff right here. So first off, this one right here tells me this RV was built 9-4 of 2024. Has a gross weight. This is axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined. Do not exceed this number of 12,800 pounds. Over here, it is going to tell me my tire size, ST23580 R16 E range tire with an 80 PSI cold. Very important to keep up with your tire pressure. That is very, very important. Tells me also on this same sticker that it has a cargo carrying capacity that should never exceed 2,568 pounds. Same thing, kind of broke down a little bit more here on this side as well. But basically, you take your gross weight minus your carrying capacity, and that will give you your unloaded weight. Stepping back here, you can kind of see down the side a little bit better. The front gives you a nice three-quarter fiberglass front cap. Does have a few LED lights in it. You have a lower metal skirting on that front section there. Two 30 pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator, power tongue jack, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety chains, seven way Bargman wiring plug. You are gonna have that very nice Volt battery disconnect system on here. And there's room for one or two batteries down here as well, just to kind of get you an idea on that area. I wanna double check one thing before we head back in here because we're gonna close it up for you next. I almost forgot to mention, they do have that three year limited structural warranty. I know it don't sound like a lot, but believe it or not, in the RV industry, that is a lot. A lot of brands only have a one year structural warranty. 
So right here is the other sticker. Tells me my unloaded weight was 10,280 pounds. I don't know why they stick that one over here instead of with the rest of them, but they do separate them for whatever reason. All right, now we're gonna step back inside here. I wanna show you what this thing looks like all closed up. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, this part's gonna be fairly quick. Just wanted to show you what it looks like closed up and I've already closed up the slide for you, so you can kind of see when it is closed. I would have to somewhat step around the sofa, kind of over it or whatever, to get back here if I needed to. However, you can come through the garage door and basically come in here and like say load your fridge or grab something out of the fridge if you're stopping at a rest area or something like that. Now kind of going forward to the front, you can see here, we're not really doing much anything up here. You can't open the bathroom door or get into the bedroom at all when it's closed up. So you will have to come right back here to your control panel and hit your slide button right there and take this thing back out. So this thing is a 12 volt powered slide system. It only takes a few seconds to push the button and run this thing out. Now, if you're just wanting to run in there and grab something or just Go use the restroom real quick at a rest area. You don't necessarily have to open it all the way up. You can run in, do what you gotta do, close it back up, or if you want, take it all the way back out like we're doing here. Again, very simple and easy to do. All right, folks, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch my quick tour here on the Striker 3212. Be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. And if you don't mind, please remember to smash that like button and subscribe.